Hi. So, my handler has been trying to set me up with someone for years now, ever since Gil. Um. Anyway, it's not important. I, I'm honestly not sure if I'm ready to date someone new, but my handler thinks it would be good for me. Healing, I think she called it. And to be clear, she's tried this before, once with the lady who was spying on Diacaeus, and another inquisitor fellow who hangs around here, and another she tried to get me to pair up with this flesh golem of my dead superior officer. Ugh, none of these worked, so... Um. But today, for this season of love, I'm going to be going on short dates with a handful of people she has set up. I honestly don't know if this is going to be any different, but she might be right about the healing thing. So, I have to try. <sighs> okay, here we go. Hi, hi. Uh, hi. Oh, gee, hi. I'm Mia, and you're really the burned maiden of Nova Thule? Y yes Hi, wow, it's an honor to meet you in person. Well, we met, but you probably don't remember. I was the fireworks girl when the ivory tower got destroyed. <laughs> I'm Mia. I'm a state battle witch. I fought in the war for a bit, but I gave up on that to deliver letters. You're a postal worker? Yep, yeah, but I might get in into radio engineering soon. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, well, I have a list of questions to ask you. <laughs> sure, ask away. Right. Okay, well, where would you take me on a first date? Ooh, good question. Um, probably to a club out in the docks. We'd go get you all dolled up first, and then we'd have cake and then crash the party. The, the docks? Yeah, I know you're under house arrest, but I'm authorized to handle prisoners, so it'd be perfect to get you out. And I'd get us out in the middle of the dance floor and everything, and afterwards we'd go back to my cafe. I have so many spare beds there. And now uh, we'd play Lanch Cooley late into the night. Hmm. And how would you comfort me if I was sad? Hmm, I'd probably get you to laugh by tickling you, and then we'd cuddle and eat candy together. I see. And what do Wait, you- Wait, am I giving bad answers? You aren't replying to anything. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we were speed dating. Last question. What do you like most about me? Oh gosh, I don't know. Your accent, maybe? It's super hot. I see. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you, Mia. Wait, but I didn't get to ask you any- <sighs> I'm already so tired. Okay, next is... Hello, sweetheart. Remember me? I yes, I remember you. You're the seal lady who slept with me when I had the abyssal wither. Oh, you're making it sound so salacious. I... I just kept your soul from slipping away by touching you. I didn't mean... No, it's cute. And besides, our audience doesn't know where I touched you, do they? Um, okay, question. Where would you take me on a first date? Where do you want to go? Uh... Um. <laughs> if you can't decide, I guess I'd take you out of the city a bit. Find a nice, quiet beach where we can talk. Maybe catch crabs or clams or foolish things in tide pools. We could roast them on a campfire. And then, when the sun went down, I could sing for you. But only if you ask nicely. That does sound nice. Plus, you made me that lovely crab chowder last time we spoke, too. So I owe you seafood do anyway. You, um actually like me? I, I mean, uh, what do you find charming about me? Hmm. Have you heard the term meat eaters and plant eaters? No. It refers to how timid you are when approaching someone. You are absolutely a plant eater. And you're a meat eater? I can be. Uh. But I like girls too. Uh. <laughs> Um, okay, how would you comfort me if I was sad? You seem like the type that likes physical affection. So I'd pat your head. And if that didn't work, I'd simply manipulate you into loving yourself. I appreciate your candidness. I appreciate you. Well, I gotta go, but this was fun. All right, dear. See you soon. <sighs> I like her. She's very pretty. Alessandra Magnia. Inquisitor General Zalathiel. There is no need for such formalities in dating setting. We are here purely for pleasure. No business today. I see. Um, so I have a question. Aren't you and Nessa an item? We are in an open relationship with a handful of other people. 
I understand from my research that you were perhaps forced into an open relationship in the past. If this is a hard boundary for you, I'll cut this off here. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that, that's fine. That's just, um, it's new to me. Uh, okay, on to the official question. You don't think you'd get to know me better if you just asked whatever your heart desired? We have a time limit. Oh, okay. Where would you take me on a first date? To see my brother's failing theater company. I already know you, Arlister, so if you can stand my brother, you can stand the rest of me. I- is it bad? No. It is objectively excellent, but punk stuff la peak operas are not exactly everyone's cup of tea. It sounds interesting. Yes, interesting is exactly how all the critics describe it. <laughs> Alright, next question. What do you find most charming about me? I find that your eyes are remarkably expressive. I can always tell exactly what you are thinking for your eyes. It is extremely charming. I especially like when you are flustered and get mad. I, I see. Um, and uh, how are you going to comfort me when I'm upset or mad? Listen to you validating your emotions and holding you in my lap until you feel better. Is this better. how you like to be comforted? In a sense, yes. You and Nessa said the same thing. Then you can sit in both of our uh, laps. Okay, I gotta move on. Bye. Of course. <sighs> Salathiel's mother is Thulian, so I think it'd be very cool to date him. We'd have a lot of cultural uh, alignment. Oh, hi, Luz. Oh, so you're the unlucky girl going on speed dates in here. (laughs) So you're not here for... The sign challenged me to seduce the girl inside, so I figured it I'd take it up just for the hypothetical challenge. I didn't know it was you, or I wouldn't have. I know that, quite frankly, I've been a bit of a bitch to you in the past, so it'd take me a little bit longer than three minutes. Um, so just hypothetically, if we were to date, where would you take me? Hmm... If I actually wanted to impress you, I'd start by getting you some clothes that actually suit you. You have no idea how many times Gil asked me what would suit your body type. Oh, I'd like that. I know. Then I'd take you to some cafe where I know everyone on a first name basis. You always seem impressed by that sort of thing. I'd engineer someone to call you ugly and then I'd defend you so that you'd swoon. Your loyalty would be won forever. Uh, you'd lie to me? Oh, please. As if you don't adore these sorts of theatrics. This is true. Besides, at least I'm being honest with you now. Then I'd bring you back to my place, and we'd sip champagne and talk until midnight. What if I got sad? How would you comfort me? I'd probably just fuck you until you felt better, and then I'd let you vent your feelings into my arms. Uh, you'd, You'd let me do that? Well, you're cute, so yes. And, you know, above all else, I appreciate your endurance and tenacity. You know, you have, despite everything, survived. And held your hell high. You've endured worse than I could, I'll tell you that much. So, if you were dating me, I wouldn't make you endure anything else. Oh, hypothetically speaking, of course. Yes, of course. (laughs) I wouldn't date you, though. After everything, I can't even imagine you'd want that. Um. Yeah, I'd want that. (laughs) Why are you such a dumbass? Fine, if you really want, we can do something later. Maybe. If I'm free. Okay. (sighs) Ah, Okay, I think that's all of them. Uh... Thanks for watching, I guess. Um, I hope that this was informative for you, or entertaining. Uh, um, I have to go sit and think about my life decisions. Thank you again, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who you think I should go on another date with. Or something. I don't know, my handler told me to say that.